hanging out with Emily and I hope you like my backdrop because I've been using it in the last few videos or in a few videos that I've been filming recently. So to start this video I recently filmed a video where I picked out a bunch of clothes to color my closet and tried to sell my clothes to Playboy's closet and I will link that in the corner. Now that video didn't go so well, they didn't accept anything that I tried to take in, so now I'm left with a whole bunch of clothes that I don't know what to do with. So a few of them I have already listed on Depop, so what I'm going to do in this video is be listing the rest of them on Depop and then showing you how they do if I sell anything and just like giving y'all tips and tricks on like selling on Depop because I have been doing that for a while. Now I'm not the most successful Depop seller but I've sold like five or six items in the time that I've had things listed, which I have no idea how long that has been, but I'm not like an avid Depop-er, but now I might be. So anyways, I'm going to remove this from behind me, which this rack I also recently got in basically a video where I unboxed the rack. So I will link that in the corner. So I'm gonna remove these real quick. Okay, so this is the basket that I took in to play this closet. It's the same basket, I literally have not touched it. I've just kept it in my closet for a while and now I'm going to hang up everything on this rack so that we can like have them ready to take pictures and list them. So behind me are all the tops that I tried to give away in my Plato's Closet video. I have the pants on my bed, obviously I can't hang them up on these hangers. I don't have pants hangers, so they're gonna stay there. Anyways, now I'm going to look through and just decide what I'm going to try to list on Depop and what I'm going to just give to Goodwill. Okay, I've barely narrowed it down, but now some of these I've already listed on Depop, so I'm going to go through and separate those so that I know which ones I still need to do. So now I'm going to do that. So it's now all separated. These are the ones that I've already listed. So that's a big chunk of them that I've already done. And these are the ones that I still have to do. So basically I only have 10 items that I still have to list and then these ones are already good and done. I don't even have to touch those. We're just gonna leave them there. So these items don't look too bad. There are two that are a little wrinkly. So I might wanna do something about that. But the rest of them are good. Right, so now I'm just gonna show you how I take the pictures of the outfit clothing to post on Depop. So let's do that. Okay, so basically this is the setup that I use when I am taking pictures. You generally want a blank background or something that like represents you that nobody else does. But I only have a blank background unless I wanna use like my whole picture wall, but that's a little bit much. So we're just gonna use this blank wall. And on Depop you have to take pictures in square mode. So what I did was I set up my camera on square mode where the picture would be in square mode and then set it to video. And I'm just going to like film what I would want the pictures to look like. I used to use like my little camera clicker and I would like hold a pose and then <laughs> click the little remote where the picture could not be seen, but that was not working well. So we're just gonna film it and then I'm going to take screenshots and then cut those to square and then edit and post them. So let's um, get to filming those outfits. Okay, so basically next, I actually did get an order from Depop. Somebody did buy something that I had already listed before, which is perfect for this video. So it was like a gold velvet dress from Forever 21 that I bought and had never worn because I never had like any reason to wear it to anything. So somebody bought it, basically I just got a message or a notification on Depop saying that they bought it. 
So basically next I get to show you how I package up something to be shipped out, which I'm so glad that somebody like bought something because now I actually get to include this part in the video. So basically when you sell something to somebody, like they'll buy it, they'll put in their address and everything, and then Depop will send you an email with like their address and like everything that you need. You can either choose to ship with Depop and then you'll, they'll send you an entire shipping label that you just put on the package. But I've decided not to do that method because that's what I usually do. And even though it's convenient that they just send out the label, I personally think it's not the best method because Depop will like take the amount out of your account and sometimes it's more than you expected it to be so I just like shipping using my own ways which is just you put in a shipping price and then they pay for it and then you ship it out. So I just printed off the address and then cut that out and stuck it on the top of the package because that's what you're supposed to do with the package. And they also send out a little receipt sort of thing which you put in the inside. You don't have to do this but I just chose to like put it in with the dress in the box and then they'll get that and it also makes it look more like nicer and presentable so I do like that and normally I also include a little note saying like thank you for buying whatever but I didn't do that this time um I think I was just like in a rush or something because this was also like a few days before I went on my trip to Los Angeles which I will link that video in the corner and so I actually did not get to ship this package out myself so you will not be seeing that part so that's all that you get to see of my little how I ship out packages from orders. Anyways, I will show you all that right here. So the next thing that I do is that I go to the video that I took of all the clothing items and then I take screenshots of every item so you can have up to four pictures in one video on Depop. So I try to take four pictures of each item doing like different angles including the back, front, and side views. And if it is an item that you can like button up or roll up then I like doing different pictures, styling the outfit in different variations as well. So next, Depop only allows you to post pictures that are in square mode, so I go to each picture and edit it into square mode, and I try to include only like the top or whatever item in these pictures and not get any like excess background image. So the last thing that I do is actually post them onto Depop so you can post four pictures and then you can add a description, size, um, style of the item, brand, and other things like that. You also include the price and shipping so I had to figure all that out and just post all the shirts. So now that everything is posted onto Depop, I just wait until somebody finds it and ends up liking it and buying it. Otherwise the tops will just like stay on this rack or in my closet and I'll just like keep them and not touch them or do anything with them until someone might decide to buy one and then if I like get up fed up with having all these clothes in my closet I might just get rid of them and take them off of Depop if nobody ends up liking them or wanting to buy them because that's also a possibility. So if you're interested in anything that you're seeing behind me or anything that you've seen in this video, definitely go check out my Depop shop, which I will link in the description. I have a bunch of more items, even things that you haven't seen here that I have listed and I have more to be posted as well. So definitely go like check that out and like follow me there. 
to see more things that I am selling. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and I will see y'all next week. So I'll see y'all next Monday. Bye.